Do not move to Marysville, Washington if you cannot handle these five things. I want to share with you five top reasons why you absolutely shouldn't move to Marysville, Washington. And honestly, the last one's going to be a pretty big deal for those of you who are looking to buy in specific neighborhoods in Marysville. My name is Rachel Novak. I'm with the Novak Real Estate Team. I'm a real estate agent. Uh, we are with Real Brokerage. But today, I'm not going to be your agent. Today, I'm going to be your local community guide. I'm here to share with you the insider scoop on exactly what you need to know about this area if you're considering moving to Marysville. Now, Marysville spans the border of Lake Stevens up to Arlington and over to Everett. It runs along Interstate I-5. It's got coastal portion waterfront along the west side of it. It goes all the way east over to Lake Stevens and kind of Granite Falls area. So it's a really good location for commuters. And it's a really, really good, it used to be kind of a bedroom pass-through community. If you work up in Mount Vernon, up in Skagit County, or if you work down into King County, Marysville is an excellent area because it's centralized and it's right on the highway on Interstate 5. Now, over the last five years or so, we've seen some massive growth as people need to and want to expand north to get more bang for their buck, right? They want to stay centralized to work, but they need to go somewhere that's actually going to be a little bit more affordable um, and still have the accessibility to both the north and south Puget Sound areas. So Marysville has several different areas, though, uh, that has really, really good established commercial and retail spaces, along with all of this growth that's been happening. So they've got a lot of new stuff. They've got a lot of established stuff. You can find a lot of national name brands like Cabela's and Michael's as well as local regional stores like Fred Meyer, Coastal Farm and Ranch, like lots of really cool community and local stores as well. Those are just a few of the shopping opportunities right in Marysville. You can also have some really good grocery shopping. So Hagen's is one of the best local regional grocery store chains that we have in the Pacific Northwest. Amazing uh, meats, amazing seafood, great produce section, a little more high end, a little more middle of the road is Winco. So North Marysville has a great Winco, one of the biggest in the area. That's much better in regards to the discount broker if you if you need that. So that's awesome. They have a great bulk area too. As far as the food scene goes, Marysville has some decent options in every genre. I do have to say it's got several well-known chains like Panera Bread, Olive Garden, things like that. But it's also got some really, really awesome local chains. Bob's Burgers and Brew is in Marysville. You've also got The Ram, which has awesome burgers and crafted beer. And you've got places like Playa Bonita several different Mexican restaurants, Playa Bonita in Marysville, the best skinny margaritas around. Now, this area combines such great commuting and access and all levels of shopping and dining. You can literally hit up Home Depot, you can grab a new pair of kicks at Nike, or you can have lunch at the Ram, or all three, all in one errand, right? Like one run, you're done with all those things. But I am dead serious when I say that there are some who would warn against moving to Marysville. And I'm going to jump right into the top five reasons why you shouldn't probably move to Marysville. You can't handle these things, okay? All right, number one, you don't like shopping. Marysville is home to one of the biggest premium outlet stores, the outlet areas in the entire Pacific Northwest. It's called Seattle Premium Outlets. It includes all sorts of really high-end stores as well as some middle-of-the-road stores. So everybody has something to shop for at the premium outlets. It's got Nike, it's got Lululemon, it's got Coach, it's got Famous Footwear, it's got Gap, it's got Dr. Martin, it's got Adidas. All of these cool, cool stores. And it's a super unique mall because it's open air. So in between the stores, in between the buildings, it's open. Like it's it's free to the sky. So it really is awesome, especially in the summertime. Man, you're going to have big crowds come. People come from Vancouver, B.C., they come up from Seattle. They obviously come east because there's not a ton of shopping exactly like this one. So to have that right in our backyard, right in Marysville, is pretty awesome. Um, a lot of local people, a lot of local people in Marysville will literally go right over there if they need to pick up a discount pair of Nikes or a discount pair of leggings from Lululemon because it's an outlet. So having that right in our backyard is awesome for some, but... Man, if you don't like shopping, if you don't like retail, then you should not move to Marysville. All right. And the second reason that you should not move to Marysville, if you can't handle this, is that you don't like casinos. Marysville is home to this uh, reservation on the, like I said kind of earlier in the video, the west side of Marysville is actually called the Tulalip Reservations, the Tulalip Indian Reservation. And in Washington State on the reservation, you can build 
casino. So guess what the Tulalip tribe did? Of course, it's built this big, beautiful casino resort. So it's called the Tulalip Casino Resort. Um, it's a mega resort. It's got gaming, dining, of course, gambling, and a five-star hotel. Um, they've got comedy and music shows every single month. They have eight different restaurants featuring everything from an awesome steakhouse. They've got really, really good seafood, Japanese, and a little bit of sushi. They have a great little cafe and, of course, sports bars, among other things. This gambling floor has like 2,500 slot machines and I think over 60, 60 or 70 different gaming tables. Like just a ton of opportunity to go play games, to go gamble, to waste away your money if that's what you want to do with it. Unless, of course, you don't like to. They also, in this Tulalip Casino and Resort Spa, have a spa. It's got massages, facials, skincare, and a salon. So it's totally a one-stop shop for people who to come enjoy the gaming, enjoy the dining, enjoy the shows. And, of course, they've got that as well, the salon. And they also have a pool, a hot tub, a sauna. So if you do not like high-end casino resorts, don't move to Marysville. Honestly, Mike and I actually take a little staycation once a year, maybe once every other year, at the Tulalip Casino. It's right in our backyard, but we love to go there and just do like a two-night staycation. We can eat some really awesome food. The hotel rooms are beautiful. They're really, really nice hotel rooms. Um, we can go chill in the sauna, sit in the hot tub, go to the spa, get some massages, and of course, hit up a show if we want to. The other little fun tidbit on this is that the casino resort... The Tulalip Casino Resort is across the parking lot from those premium outlets I just mentioned. So you can literally stay in the resort, enjoy the gaming, do some gambling, go to a nice restaurant, walk over to the outlet mall and do some shopping and then come back to your hotel room. So it is a truly like a destination area for a lot of people around the state. But to have it right in our backyard is a perfect excuse to have a little staycation. It's exactly what Mike and I do. And the number three reason that you absolutely should not move to Marysville is that you don't want equity in your home. Marysville is one of the oldest incorporated cities in Snohomish County. It was incorporated in like 1891. So when you're driving through parts of Marysville, you're going to see farmland. You're going to see big fields. You're going to see old, old farmhouses. And then right around the corner, you're also going to see farm animals, right? You're going to see cows. You're going to see horses. You're going to, you might even see horses walking on the street in some parts of Marysville. So because it was incorporated so long ago and still has a lot of that landscape, that original farm feel, you're going to see that around Marysville. In other areas, and you'll see neighborhoods, big neighborhoods with mid-century homes, big, beautiful mid-century architecture um, with larger lots in great little neighborhoods, mature trees all over the place, right? And then in yet in, uh, more areas, you're going to see the newer construction stuff. So, you know, neighborhoods with larger homes, smaller lots, but great neighborhood feel, like really newer construction in the last four or five years, um, and just a great, great neighborhoods for families, great neighborhoods for people who work from home when they want that walkability, they have pets they want to take on walks regularly. So Marysville really is kind of a hodgepodge of all these different things coming together, and that could be one of the reasons that, you know, Marysville was not really popular over the last, you know, the prior 20, 30 years was because of this different feeling of all, like, we've got new, we've got mid-century, we've got really old. But because of these, this influx of all these new homes, that has brought in such, so many more people, more families, more couples, more individuals to the area because of its location in the Pacific Northwest, Marysville real estate has doubled in value. So it didn't used to be, like I said, it didn't used to be like a super coveted area. But over these last couple of years, as it's been capitalizing on improving neighborhoods, um, improving the park scene, uh, people are starting to realize that, oh, shoot, it has a golf course. It's got Cedar Crest Golf Course. Uh, you've got Jennings Park and American Legion Park and all these beautiful parks and spaces. It's like Mary Phillips has been rediscovered in the last five to 10 years. And more and more people are moving to this area, which is, of course, driving the, the value of real estate up. So it's still a great place to find value in regards to buying a home. But man, you, you can definitely count on it continuing to grow and real estate continuing to go up. But of course, if you don't like equity, if you don't want equity in your home, then you should not move to Marysville. Number four reason why you absolutely should not move to Marysville if you can't handle this. Guys, sound views. Beautiful mountain and sound views. Now, I mentioned earlier in this video that Marysville is a coastal town, and I'm not joking. It literally is considered a coastal city. It spans like much of the west coast of Washington state. 
And because of this really unique and like hilly topography that Marysville has, um, you're able to see sound views, mountain views, Olympic mountain views from so many different areas, literally right from your car. It's pretty incredible. So maybe you want to take a long drive along Sunnyside Road. Sunnyside Road is a road that connects Lake Stevens south across the trestle all the way up and around into Marysville. So if you're you know, driving along this road, you're going to have a dr almost a dropout view of the sound and the Olympic Mountains the entire drive. It's honestly incredible. On a clear day, you'll be able to see maybe even down to like the Seattle skyline if you're looking that way. You're also going to have stunning, stunning views of the Olympic Peninsula. So you're going to see these snow-capped mountains. You're going to be able to see ferries coming back and forth. It's, it's just an incredible, incredible view. On the northern side of Sunnyside Road, so it connects up into Marysville and it looks out over what's called the Ebby Slough. So uh, the Ebby Slough is this large lake-looking thing that uh, fills up and it drains based on uh, the tide of the sound, right? So some days you'll see it and it just looks like a huge lake, like this huge, huge full lake. And then other days you'll see it and it looks like the super soggy beach just filled with all these grasses and, and trees, okay? Okay. So it's pretty wild, like day to day, what you're going to see there. And then on the west side of Marysville, like going along with these sound views, on the west side of Marysville, on the very far west, that's where the Tulalip Reservation is. Remember, we talked about the Tulalip Indian Reservation that the casino is on. So on the west side of Marysville, towards the coast, that's considered Tulalip. You've got neighborhoods down there with absolute dropout views. Now, some of the real estate over on Tulalip is on leased land. So some of the reservation land is leased. So you have to watch out for that, of course. But then you've got a lot of it that's owned. And when you are on that west side over on Tulalip, you have absolutely bananas dropout views of not just the Olympic Peninsula, but you can look up into the San Juans. It's incredible. Now, there are multiple parks, walking trails along the waterfront areas on the western and southern side of Marysville. Because on the southwest side of Marysville, it actually connects to Everett. And Everett is, is also a big coastal city. You can bring your binoculars. You can scope out fish. You can scope out birds, wildlife, or just get a better view of the water, the ferries, and the mountains. But honestly, I get it. I totally get it. If you don't like beautiful mountain and sound views, then definitely don't move to Marysville. And the number five reason of my top five as to why you should not move to Marysville. And this one's a little more serious. I'm talking about the trains. Now, if you live in Marysville or if you have lived in Marysville, you know exactly what I am talking about. Those of you who are thinking about moving to Marysville, we've got to get serious for a second because the Pacific Northwest is home to Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railway System. And Marysville happens to be like literally the railway cuts Marysville north to south directly in half. It go runs the entire span of the city of Marysville. So Many different areas, many different intersections throughout Marysville, you're going to encounter the railroad tracks. This is just a part of everyday life for us in the Pacific Northwest. But if you hate trains, you should not move to Marysville. So the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railway System here in Washington State, it employs over 3,000 people. It handles hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of loads every single year um, going all the way. It actually connects up into Canada and then goes all the way down south to obviously Santa Fe to, to the border of Mexico. Now, Mar Marysville itself doesn't have any rail yards, so it doesn't have any place that the trains stop, unload and, and reload. Um, but those are in like Bellingham, north of us, in Everett, Seattle, Tacoma, Auburn and Vancouver, Washington. So that's where the rail stations are, right? Marysville is just kind of a pass through. So you're not ever going to have a train that stops and blocks traffic, but you're certainly going to have a train that goes through and blocks traffic. BNSF railway system has a pretty significant infrastructure. So they're constantly inspecting their tracks, inspecting their trackside detectors. And they've got hundreds and hundreds of inspectors that do, like, they're inspecting the millions of miles of tracks every single year. So they're very safe. There are not many accidents on this at all. But if you are trying to cross the tracks going west to the freeway or coming east to the other side of Marysville, the trains have definitely been known as stop traffic in their tracks. And it takes sometimes 10 minutes and sometimes 20 minutes, for depending on the length of the train, to get that thing back and forth. So, of course, honestly, this only happens if you have an appointment or if you happen to be running late for work, right? Like that's the only time that you're going to see that train. So just also know that if you're looking in Marysville 
know that there are going to be some neighborhoods that kind of butt up against the railway. You're going to be within earshot a lot of times in a lot of neighborhoods in Marysville. So I've had clients who absolutely love it. They love the sound of it. They love kind of the schedule of it and the, the, the rhythm that that creates in their everyday life kind of subconsciously. And families, so people with kids love being around a train, being able to hear it, being able to see it regularly. It really becomes a point of joy in a lot of people's lives. But honestly, if you hate trains, you should not move to Marysville because you're going to encounter them anywhere in the Pacific Northwest, but especially in Marysville at some point. So there you go. Those are my top five reasons why you absolutely should not move to Marysville. And like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm a real estate agent. I am consistently ranked in the top 1% of all Snohomish County out of like 7,000 agents. My contact info is in the summary down below. So if I can help you reach any real estate goals or help you with your real estate needs, you know where to find me. You can also find me on Instagram and on Facebook.